Oh, holy cow, holy cow, hold on, Rodan. Godzilla has moved a lot, man. I need to start checking this stuff up every day. Is this, this, what, what outpost? How's it hanging, dudes? My name is Sean, and welcome back to another Godzilla King of the Monsters speculation video. And today, okay, so we did Moth Mothra last time. We're going to do, um, yeah, Mothra. We're going to do, um, uh, Rodan today. Um... So, Rodan. Oh, holy cow, holy cow, hold on, Rodan. Godzilla has moved a lot, man. I need to start checking this stuff up every day. Is this, this, what, what outpost is this? Is this Kong's Island right here? Is this, is this Monster Kaiju, Monster Island, whatever you want to call it? Oh my god, god, Godzilla has moved a lot, hasn't he? His heart rate is still the same. His location is quite a bit different. Um, his radiation is is it's, 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 it ticks up to about three hundred um, at, at its peak every once in a while. So you can see it go. Oh my gosh, where is he going? Where is he going? He's not going to Monarch Outpost in Australia, is he? Maybe he's going to meet up to Mothra. I mean, the movie's still far away. Maybe he's just moving to move right now. I don't know. Who is he going to meet up with? Is he going to Japan? Are we like going to go? We're going to do that again, Godzilla. I mean, God, poor Japan. Everybody be like, oh, Godzilla. Man, that's so sad. Leave them alone. God, don't worry, guys. If I was there, we'd we'd um I don't know what we'd do. We'd make a video or something. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, Rodan. Oh man, I'm per Godzilla's moved a lot. Let me know your uh, your thoughts about that in the comment section down below, right? Uh, like, like, comment, subscribe, like, like for Godzilla. Like, good lord, he's moved a lot in the last couple days. All right, let's go ahead and go to the top of the classification. It shows us all anyways. Let's start from the top here. <clears throat> Specimen from Monarch Outpost 56, Titanus Rodin. Super species profile. Monarch designation, Rodan. Classification, Titanus Rodan. Nature, biovolcanic. Body height, 154 foot. 154 foot, holy cow. Wingspan, 871 feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, if, um, if Ghidorah's wingspan is bigger than that, that's going to be a huge kaiju. Ghidorah has never been that big before. Not that I know of, anyways. Um, unless it was like in that space one. Oh god, man! That there are so many Godzilla movies, and that timeline is just stretched so far thin between the Heisei. Oh, there's so many periods and everything like that, and it's it's hard to keep it all straight sometimes. And I'm a huge fan. <laughs> so, all right, I, I mean, if we didn't have Wikizilla guys, like we <laughs> that that guy keeps us all grounded. We I would be so lost. All right. Um, behavior, the destroyer. Of course, he destroys everything. He's one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that, uh, kaiju that Godzilla's ever fought, man. Like, he's, oh, wow, range, worldwide. <laughs> like, of course. I mean, that guy takes to the sky and there's, what, like, thunderstorms? Is that what it was? All right, let's go. Okay, cryptid profile, declassified for the civilians. This is what the civilians know about Rodan. Within a monarch containment facility atop the active Isla de Mano volcano, a mysterious titan lies in pyrostasis within the, re the restless, almost said relentless, restless magma. The legends speak of it as the fire demon, or the one born of the fire. But a simpler name echoes through the ancient temples of volcanically active regions. Rodan. Oh my god. And this is like, um, this, there, uh, okay, yeah, I need to download these images, don't I? We're going to download those images. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Declassified civilian operative files. A volcanic internal combustion system of magma flows throughout a body covered in rock-like scales that act as geothermal armor. Let me reread that to you guys, Okay. I, um, let me let me reread that to the guys, okay? A volcanic internal combustion system of magma flows throughout a body covered in rock-like scales that act as geothermal armor. Holy cow! While much larger in size, Rodan has a skeletal structure similar to that of a pterodon. 
one of the earliest vertebrates known to have developed the power of flight. Yeah, we, we, you don't have, you, okay, look, okay, Monarch, um, understand that this is civilian, um, declassified files, but, uh, um, you know, uh, kai kaiju fans watch, 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 watch this, this website, and, um, uh, so do dinosaur fans, being as dinosaurs are lumped in as kaiju, so we, 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 we know what a pterodon is. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I ain't trying to be mean. I'm just saying. Anyway, anyway, one of, one of the earliest vertebrates known to develop the power of flight. <laughs> no, you think? Anyway, just as Kong is the king of the primates, Rodan may have been once king of the skies, and that's of course how he relates to the pterodons. Because of the extreme temperatures within the particular containment facility, current lab equipment can't function properly. As a result, thermal heat signatures on the creature are impossible to collect, and Monarch detection crews conducted cardiograms via aerial satellite for life sign detections and verification. Ooh, that's a, that's a one hell of a sentence. <laughs> Holy cow, how many commas are there? One, two, um, whoa. There's two commas and one and for a break. Whew, that's a big sentence. Much like the volcano that incubates it, Rodan is alive, but dormant. Man, I love how they compare him to a volcano because, uh, let, let's just say he could be explosive. You know what I'm saying, man? Okay, okay. Rodan's wingspan was wrapped around its body in stasis, almost like a cocoon, if you will. But our crypto estimate, estimate, wait, our cryptos estimate a wingspan big enough to create a sonic thunderclap capable of leveling leveling entire cities as it flies overhead. Like, what? Leveling entire cities. Do you see this photo right here? Thunderclap. <laughs> like, damn, boy. Okay, all right, all right, all right. RF capture scans reveal that Rodan's skin is not made of rock, but does have an outer dermis of sharp volcanic sediment collected from centuries of dormancy. PSYOPs theories that vulcanized appearance of its skin may be the evolutionary trait developed as a form of camouflage against mountain or rock, large rock formations, truly a titan forged in fire. So, I'm saying that this kaiju was is an ancient pterodon um, of you know cata cataclysmic um, uh, size, <laughs> and the fact that he's been living within rock formations around rock formations through this lifespan of all the rodents in since centuries past, right? As far as I guess monarch science lore is confirmed, um, that that's how it became what it is and being as it was hibernating for so long who knows what it's actually going to look like but i have a little bit of an issue if i can kind of you know poke a, poke a little bit real quick this image is obviously of rodan taking to the sky and producing you know a quote thunderclap that levels a city and you can almost kind of maybe even see a city off to the side side right here right um the thing is, if the movie's not out yet and Rodan isn't out yet and hasn't got out of the volcano yet, how would they be able to get this image? How would they be able to, you know, you know, pick up this image of Rodan? And on top of that, how high in the air would they have to be to be able to get that image of Rodan? And then, and then wouldn't that electrical system be kind of screwed up? Because them, um, when they're trying to monitor Rodan and his stasis, they can't use the electrical equipment correctly. So I... A little bit of an issue with that. I don't think they really thought that through all the way. This is obviously an image after Rodan has gotten out of the volcano, which he hasn't yet. <laughs> okay, so. Anyway, yeah, guys, that's Rodan. Um, wow, right? Jesus. Oh, what's this? Monarch atmospheric density scan helio satellite tracking. Oh, okay, all right. It's a, a satellite tracking. Okay, so maybe it's not. Okay. Either way, either way, it's still after he's broken out, which he hasn't yet, so that's a little weird. But yeah, guys, that's Rodan. Okay, so of course what we're going to be, you know, coming up next is Monster Zero. and um, Or maybe not next, maybe we'll do Godzilla next. I don't know. You tell me, guys. If Godzilla keeps up this trajectory, this path, holy cow, we might have to do a whole video on Godzilla. Um, but everybody knows about Godzilla, so that, that video will probably just turn into me ranting about Zilla, <laughs> the abomination that uh, uh of the godzilla series it's not even part of the series just i don't even care i don't even care i don't even consider it part of the canon 
um, hardcore fans really. Uh, I don't I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to speak too much of that. I don't want to cause a rift in the Gojira community. All right. Okay. Anyway. Anyhow, oh my god, I just can't stop staring. This is a huge trajectory for Godzilla, man. Huh. Has anything changed in the briefing? No. In a past Godzilla world, we were declassified super species. Evidence of the... Okay, yeah, nope. Hmm. Well. All right, well, guys, uh, I guess we just need to keep track on this. We need to keep an eye on Godzilla. Um, we're going to do Monster X next, and hopefully they release a couple of these Monarch outposts. I mean, why not? Are they saving them for other movies? Or are they going to be released um, coming up? Does anybody know anything about this? Can we, like... Can anybody, like, search the metadata for this website? <laughs> like, uh, what is happening here, guys? Anyways, 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 anyways. I appreciate you guys like always. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I'm in the conversation after every single video. I appreciate you guys like always. Wait, I already said that, right? Wait, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one. You had me at hello. Oh, baby, you.